Hello, I'm Abhinav, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how cross-account users can resolve access denied errors when they try to download Amazon Simple Storage Service objects that are encrypted by a custom AWS key management service key. Let's get started. Account 8 tasks. After logging in to the AWS management console for account A, that is the bucket owner AWS account, navigate to the S3 console. Then choose the S3 bucket that you want to allow account B users to access. Then choose the permissions tab. Scroll down to the bucket policy field. Choose the edit button. Review the bucket policy and confirm that there is a statement that allows access from the account ID of account B. After you review the bucket policy, let's review the AWS KMS key policy. Choose the Properties tab and scroll down to Default Encryption. Choose the AWS KMS Master Key ARN. When you choose the key ARN, the key properties opens in another browser tab. Review the key policy using the AWS Management Console policy view. In the key policy, look for SID colon allow use of the key. Then confirm that the user in account B is listed as a principal in that statement. If you don't see the account B user listed in the key policy, then choose edit and update the key policy to grant the user in account B permissions to these actions, KMS decrypt, KMS generate data key and KMS describe key or switch to view the key policy using the console default view. Then add account B's account ID as an external account with access to the key. Account B tasks. Log into the AWS management console for account B. Open the AWS identity and access management console by choosing IAM in the services dropdown list. In the menu on the left, choose users or role. Then choose the user or role name that you are using to connect to the cross account bucket. Review the list of permissions policies applied to the IAM user or role. Then verify that there are applied policies that grant access to both the bucket and the key. Attach a new policy or update the existing policy if needed. So now you know how to give cross-account users access to S3 objects that are stored in an AWS KMS encrypted S3 bucket. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.